the Costa question that I get asked the most is, would you tell me what the difference is between the 580p technology and the 580g technology? We're going to cover that today. The most obvious difference is always going to be the price. There's actually a $60 difference between the 580p and the 580g and sometimes $80 difference depending on if you're getting the blue mirror, the green mirror or the silver mirror. If we look a little deeper, we're going to definitely appreciate that if price is what you pay, then value is what you receive. And I do have to tell you that the glass is worth it. If you can pay a little bit extra, please pay it. We're gonna go over all of the benefits and all of the value propositions that the glass brings. An old argument that I will be putting to rest today is going to be, oh, don't get the glass because it's much heavier. We're gonna put that to rest because we're gonna weigh them, we're gonna measure them in grams, and I'm gonna to prove to you the argument that was valid 30 years ago is no longer valid today. Costa started back in 1986, so could they have used really heavy glass back then? Probably so, but in 2019, that's not the case. This is a high index glass, and it's very good quality. We're gonna weigh it right now. First up on the scale is the 580p. Five grams, really good. That's the equivalent of five pennies. Second up, the 580G. Hey, it's only 10 grams. Look, five additional grams, it's not enough to deter me from not getting the glass. There's several things that they both have in common because this 580 technology. And one of them is gonna be that they both block out 100% of the harmful HEV blue light. The HEV blue light is bad because it's been proven to alter circadian rhythms, affecting melatonin levels and therefore affecting your sleep. They're both polarized and then they're also obviously blocking 100% of the UV light. They both give you better color contrast and because they block the yellow light at 580 nanometers, it boosts reds, blues, and greens. The glass is gonna have six layers. The seawall molecular bond, glass layer, the encapsulated mirror, polarized film, glass layer, and six, the seawall molecular bond. The glass is going to have higher optics. There's a way to measure that and it's something called the Abbey value. The Abbey value in glass is the clearest, most purest vision that you can get and glass will give you that. So the 580G does have that advantage over the 580P. Something I do like about both of them is that they're both going to have anti-reflective treatment on the back side. You're not going to have the reflection, the annoying reflection of your own eye in the back of the lens. We're going to try to get really close here, but I want to show you the difference in the markings. The 580p has a really well-defined 580p laser engraved on the lens while the 580 glass has just the 580 laser engraved but it's not as clear and well-defined as the 580p something that i discovered today was the difference in vibrancy of the blue mirror the glass is just wow it is just so much brighter and bluer the 580p blue mirror is just a little bit less intense and that's a big deal if i was getting a mirror treatment i want that 580g vibrant vibrancy and brightness that it gives me. I would like to say something that actually is, is really nice on the 580G compared to other brands like Maui Jam. The 580G is actually 20% thinner and 22% lighter than other brands like Maui Jam. And here it is, the Code de Resistance, if that's even still a thing in France. The 580G lens, the reason why it is worth how much Ever it costs extra it is impossible to scratch you cannot scratch this this on the hardness scale is glass unless you're gonna get like a piece of metal and like a nail and scrape on there of course you'll scratch it that way but for the most part it's impossible to scratch the 580g is gonna be worth it every time in my opinion the 580p does have a scratch resistant treatment but it's not unscratchable one thing that the 580p is superior than the 580g is going to be an impact resistance how about that impact resistance though on the glass the glass is much higher in impact resistance than people give it credit for my clumsy hands have dropped the 580g in the past and have not broken them those my friends are the differences between the 580p and the 580G Costa lenses.